So, morning here in Chiang Mai, and it's been about a year since I've done the cost of living in Chiang Mai, and I thought I'd make another video. So, I'm just going to go around today and record all the prices. First things first, motorbike. Uh, this is 2,500 baht, which is probably as cheap as, as, as you can get for, for the month. Having said that, it is a rubbish bike. Uh, I was using my, my girlfriend's bike, but I had a bit of an accident and, and crashed, and yeah, I need to repair it, but oh well. Um, although I do tend to drive the car. The cost to fill this bike up is almost negligible. It cost me about 60 or 70 baht to, to fill the tank up uh, from empty, and that will last me for, for at least a week, and I'll be driving on it every day. I'm on my way to, to the old town now. I need to get some lunch. I definitely need to get some coffee, uh, and then I'll find somewhere to, to, uh, to do some work. Back in Santi Tam now, which is uh, near the center of Chiang Mai and a very popular uh, expat area. Uh, this is my apartment building, although I hardly ever stay here. I moved in about two or three weeks ago and so far I've spent one night here. The reason for that is because I spend almost every night at my, at my girlfriend's house. It's, it's much nicer. But yeah, it is nice to have a little apartment in in the city and somewhere where I can just dump my stuff and keep my stock and an escape if I ever get into an argument. So this place is 3,500 baht, which is incredibly cheap really. I mean, it is basic, this room. It's small, it's one bedroom studio, uh, you know, like a, a bathroom and shower. But for me, it's, it's, it's perfect. As I say, I don't spend any time here. I probably stay two days a, a, a month. Um, sometimes if I don't want to work in a coffee shop, I, I, I can work here. Um, and it's a nice place for me to keep uh, a lot of my stock. This stuff has just been bought recently and needs to be shipped to, to America. Before I moved into this place, I was staying in a three bedroom uh, house detached house uh, just outside the city. I thought if I'm going to be staying in Thailand for a while, why not just, you know, get somewhere nice? And it was nice. It was big, uh, it had a big garden, a nice gate at the front. I felt it was pretty secure. Uh, but I had the same problem. I'm never spending any time there. And there were far too many dogs. I know there's a running theme through my videos about those dogs, but they really are just, just a complete nuisance. Um, so many of them outside your house and you try to go on the motorbike to, to 7-Eleven or, or the shop and you know they'll just chase you, make it almost impossible to, to go anywhere at night. So I, I had enough of that and I did unfortunately lose my deposit because I, I came out of my lease early after, after two or three months. So that was 20,000 baht down the drain. But I feel okay about that because this place is so cheap, after two or three months here, I, I, I will have recouped that money. So it's not a huge problem. But it was a lesson. I, uh, I know now that I need to have an apartment in town. Um, it's fine staying, staying at my, my girlfriend's house out of the town, but in, on my own in a, in a, in a large house in, in, in suburbia, not staying there, not really able to you know, do the garden and, and stuff. Um, yeah, uh, the lesson is that I need to, whatever happens, maintain a, a, a small apartment in, in the city centre. So I, I won't be making that mistake again. Anyway, I'm super hungry now, so I'm going to go next door and get some cow soy. Um, for my lunch, I try and eat locally and pay with coins. I have collected a, a ridiculous amount of Thai baht in, in coins um, because I, I never really spend them and every week I just seem to get more and more coins. I don't really know what to do with them. 
So yeah, wherever possible, I try and go and pay for my coffee with, with them. Um, my, uh, let me just get a, a big handful of, of these coins and, uh, and, and put them into a, a little bag. And I, I just carry, carry this around. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and, until it runs out. But you know, that alone will probably cover my my uh, my food. Certainly my lunch for the for the week. Well, as always, that was excellent. Um, quite a famous place actually, Khao Soi Mei Sai in Santi Tan. Uh, it does make me sweat though a lot. Not as much as the past, but yeah, hot. Anyway, all of that, 40 baht, and will keep me, keep me full for a couple of hours. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to my apartment, get uh, my laptop, and then go and find, find somewhere to do some work for a couple of hours. So I've just got to a, uh, a pretty nice coffee shop in, in Santi San again. Uh, I'll probably spend the day in, in this part of town and uh, yeah, this is my, my office for, for the next couple of hours, um, quite relaxing. So I've been thinking about other things that I spend money on, uh, but really they are the main things. Rent, 3,500 bucks lunch 40 to 60 baht uh, dinner you can spend 40 baht on dinner for sure but uh, I have been going to slightly nicer places and maybe spend 200 baht for multiple dishes um, or 500 baht if there's two of us eating um, alcohol is, is, is quite expensive not expensive in terms of Western prices but expensive in terms of uh, Thai prices for sure. They're about 50 to 60 baht for a, a large bottle of beer in 7-Eleven. And if you're in a bar, it, it, it could be anywhere from 80 to 120, depending on how nice, nice the place is. Um, but I only go drinking really once or, or twice a week and would almost never, unless I'm in Bangkok, uh, spend, spend more than a thousand, thousand baht a night. And that would be a big night. I spent 780 baht on my uh, on my mobile phone, and that's probably the most expensive package that my carrier has. Um, True Move, uh, and basically gives me I think 12 12 uh, 12 gigabytes of data, maybe 16 gigabytes of data, uh, and, uh, and I never use more than that. So that, that's fine, and have access to 4G almost constantly. Um, and in fact, it's so good that even when I'm in coffee shops like now, they do have Wi-Fi, but I, I'm still tethering because uh, it, it does tend to be a little faster. Um, other things that I spend money on are, are silly toys. I'm, I'm going on a camping trip soon, so I've been buying hammocks and knives. Um, I've just started getting into skateboarding, so I've bought two new boards and uh, probably spent about 10,000 baht. On, on, on those, um, but that's not really cost of living, that's just more fun and hobbies and you know you certainly wouldn't have to buy a skateboard and a knife uh, if you were keeping, keeping costs low. Um, massages are anywhere between 150 and 300 baht depending on you know, the, the kind of place that you, you go to. Uh, haircuts in uh, one of the better hairdressers. It's about 300 baht. Uh, but yeah, for me, that really covers it. Food, transportation, and, and rent. Um, and coffee too. I, I drink a lot of coffee compared with my coins. I probably spend more in Chiang Mai than a lot of the other expats do. Maybe 40,000 or 50,000 baht a month. Um, which is not a huge amount of money. I'd be struggling in England to to get by on that. With that kind of budget here, you can live like a king. Uh, I never really think about money. I never go without. I pretty much do whatever I want, whenever I want. A very happy life.
Having said that, you could spend a lot less. Uh, I've got some friends that are teachers and maybe earn 30,000 baht, and you know, they don't seem to do without either. Many Thai people earn 15,000 baht and still get by. Maybe not buying as many expensive coffees uh, and drinking as much, but you know, you can certainly live and live a, a decent life of maybe 20,000 baht. Uh, I do know people that do. Uh, but for me though, I, you know, I, I work hard and I don't mind spending a little bit more. Um, when I compare it to what I would be spending in England, uh, you just get so much more value for money. And in fact, that's one of the two things that would really make me reluctant to, to leave Chiang Mai uh, and indeed Thailand. The ludicrously low cost of living and the exceptionally good food and drinks